with you fans, King Ghost Fan 2002 here today, and today I am here with a tour review, and without further ado, let me pull up this figure, got this at GFS25, this probably is my favorite figure in my collection as of now, so, um, got this over at Vampire Robots, it is the Bandai Great Monster Series, King Ghidorah, yikes, this is a big guy, so I, I might have to push him back even more. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, that's that should be I think right right about here should be good. Okay. So yeah, this figure I got for two hundred and fifty bucks. Really good deal. Um really big figure too. There's only one thing, like this figure is notorious for being fragile. It's known as the fragile wing King Adora. I kid you not. When I was holding it around you, so like, they were like, oh, you got the fragile wing King Adora. I'm like, yep. So, you get, if you own this figure, or if you're trying to get it, you gotta be very careful with these wings. Trust me. I know. And uh, I've actually managed to get the wings on secured, securely, so that's, that's, that's a plus. Like, um, these wings are really, really large. They're, they're bigger than, like, your normal six-inch figure, so... I don't think I need to go over history. Ghidorah is like one of the most popular Godzilla monsters, and he's gonna be in a new movie, so I'm not going over history. But let's let's jump into um, let's get into articulation first. So um, this is a old this is a really old figure. This figure came out in as, as I was told, it came out in 1988. So I don't really expect there to be that many articulation points. All heads can have like have like this horn articulation it's just pretty weird I don't know why they added that but I, I, I don't know so yeah, that's three points the heads can swivel like that yeah so heads can swivel I'm not gonna rotate them 360 because I don't know if this figure can handle that or not like if things would snap and trust me I do not want that to happen one bit and the legs can also swivel back and forth, and the tail also swivels too, so really, um, that is, let me see, that's nine points of articulation, so really good for a vintage figure, and of course, you know, the wings flap too, but I'm not touching those, um, now let's head into detail. Okay, so detail on this guy is actually really good <laughs> since even though it's a vintage figure, it has really good detail. You have all these scales going across his body. They even go underneath his tail, which is really cool. I like how they did that. And then he also has these weird hair things at the edge of his tail like every Ghidorah should have. Um, his wings have like these ridges. Really, really cool. I like that. The realistic feel. It's not realistic feel, but like, I don't know how to describe that. But yeah, um, just a very scaly figure. Uh, it, the, my favorite part of this figure's detail has to be the face. Just look at um, look at how they sculpted the nostril. Just really good. You see that? Just oh, this figure is beautiful. The teeth are also individually sculpted, and the mouths are like painted in a reddish color. So that's 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 cool. And the eyes, of course, um, white with a uh, black pupil. So overall, this figure sports a um, gold color, like it should be. And yeah. Okay, so. Now let's head on to sizing. Okay, this figure is gonna dwarf every single figure that I pull out, so we'll see. All right, so first up, let's pull out his arch nemesis. Um, I don't. Oh, I could. I guess I could pull that out too. But let me pull out this suit of Godzilla first. Let's pull out the Bandai Purple Tag, 1968 Godzilla. <laughs> you see what I mean, like. Look, his wings alone are bigger than Godzilla. It's crazy. Like, oh, 
I just really love this Ghidorah. I just love how it will tower all these other six inch figures. And then let's pull out Gorosaurus, Manai. Yeah, he just dwarfs them all. So you can have Trail Monsters. I wish I had my I wish I had a vintage from Rodan, but I do not I need to get that. I don't know why I passed up on it. And then here's the 50th Memorial Box. Angiris. So you can have him do that. And let's pull out one of his partners in crime. Gigan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just dwarfs Gigan. I don't know if this is in scale or not, but I just like how it looks. It's really cool. And you know what? Just for um the sake of it, let's just pull out um Ultraman. Yeah. This <laughs> I don't think Ultraman has a chance. So and let's pull out Gamora, the Max Gamora. Yeah. That would go on skill though. No. Maybe Gamora should be a little bit smaller, but yeah, who cares? Um Alrighty. Um Guess that's it for this review guys. Um this figure, if you don't have it, I really suggest you get and get it if you find if you can find it of course, because uh, a lot of sites have it up for like four hundred bucks. Um I recommend paying anywhere between like um three hundred or, or below, basically. But anyways, that is it for this review. I'm gonna give this figure a ten out of ten. <laughs> I think that might be part of my bias, too, since I'm a huge, huge Ghidorah fan. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. King of Legends 2002, signing out.